So we're in the garage. This is the back of the RAV4. We're ready to roll out to the gig. Alrighty, so I'm driving to the gig right now. Uh, we're playing the Neon Festival with Bay River Band tonight. Uh, the Neon Festival is a annual arts festival that happens in Norfolk, Virginia every year. So it's only about a 20 minute drive from where I live in Virginia Beach. The topic I want to talk about today though is free gigs. So I'm not getting paid tonight, which is a bummer. But I decided to say yes to the gig anyways, uh, mainly because of the idea that I heard from Red Shoal not too long ago about there's three aspects to every gig. There's the money, there's the music, and there's the people or the hang. So, I really like the people in this band, for one. And we were playing, it's a cover band, we're playing all covers, and I like all the music we're playing. And we do it pretty good. And those two things have to be really up there because the, the money is non-existent. So, I decided to take the gig anyways. There's some other things, though, that other than just pure cash, which we all need, but there's other benefits that could be financial in the future that you also have to think about. So, one, I'm able to make content. I'm able to vlog me headed to the gig and hopefully we'll get some good video of the gig itself. Also, we're gonna get out and there, it's an arts festival. There's gonna be a lot of other artists and musicians and other people there that I get to network with and talk to and connect that I probably wouldn't have met if I didn't go. So that's another another thing to think about when you're deciding if you're gonna take a gig or not. So I'm gonna call it right now before the gig. Uh, I'm almost to the venue and the traffic is kinda bad. So let me focus on driving and we'll talk to you soon. So we are in the like side room of this venue with my drummer Igor. Say what's up, Igor. Igor says what's up. <laughs> we just got done with sound check, and it was kind of a weird situation. <laughs> it wow. took a lot longer than it should have been, mm -hmm. but we got it done. Um, for me, it sounds great because I brought my in ears, and guess what? Nobody brought any monitors, so. Good luck hearing yourself, Igor. You know, he's a drummer, so he doesn't hear anyone anyways. But. I'm deaf. What can I say? <laughs> but uh, I heard it sounds good, though, outside. What did you think? Um, I thought it sounded pretty good outside. Yeah, with the, the brick walls and everything. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Yeah, so kick was pumping through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to hang out. We got some food. We're going to chill for, I don't know, when we go on. Like 7.30, it's like 6.30 right now. So we got about an hour, we're gonna chill and we're gonna get it. We'll see you on the other side. All right, so here is the rig for the night, the pedal board. On the left, first off, you'll see my iPad, which is just propped up with our set list for the night. The guitar goes into the Crybaby, and then that goes into the Polytune, which is also my input buffer. That's the Polytune 3, which has the TC buffer in there, which is really nice. That then goes down into the Box of Rock. I love that pedal because it's two-channel. The boost just pushes my amp just a little bit more than what it already is. And then the distortion channel is just great. 
that goes into the fuzz which is the fazzy cream which is awesome i just got that little mini pedal and it does the trick for me I used to not like fuzz now i rock fuzz all the time after the fuzz is the donner golden tremolo that does what it says it's just a trem and i love that little pedal after the trem is the h2o by visual sound visual sound is now called true tone that pedal gives me my delay on the right and my chorusing and vibrato effect on the left side. It also gives me my output buffer, which goes into the amp. So following the cable down the line, you'll see that I'm using the PRS and Zera 20 as my amp tonight. You'll notice that I have the gain on the far right, the drive, super low. And the level is also low because we're in a pretty small place with brick walls. So the sound was bouncing around pretty good. I do use the gain channel, which is on the right side. And then you'll see my EQs. I just got a little bit of bass rolled off mid right in the middle and a little bit of treble boost. Lastly, you'll see my guitars. I brought two guitars with me tonight. You'll see the Fender, which is behind the PRS. That is my 60s lacquered Mexican-made Stratocaster that... I put the Marzio area pickups in, and as you can see, it is very well played. And then the guitar that I actually played the whole night was the PRS McCarty 594 Thin Line. You might be catching a theme with my fanboyness of PRS, so PRS, if you're seeing this, hit me up. But that's the guitar I played all night. I can get all the tones I need for the cover gigs with the humbuckers that also can split coil. Those are the first guitars that I played where I could split the coils and they still sounded just as good as the humbuckers but gave you that single to coil tone. So those are the guitars and that is my full rig for the night. We'll listen to some clips right about now.
so it's the next day after the gig, and I had a great time last night. Uh, Bay River Band killed it, and the band that played after us, I heard, did a good job. I say I heard because I actually left right after our set and went down to Virginia Beach and caught Tab Benoit at Elevation 27, a local venue in the area, and him and his band completely slayed it, and I had a great time, and actually one of our local blues guys uh, actually got to play with him, and he opened for him, Anthony Rosano, so shout out to Anthony, he killed it too. And had a great time. Back to the original topic that I brought up, though, about playing free gigs. So last night, again, it was a free gig. So I didn't make any money. However, the guy actually doing sound, I ended up knowing. I actually went to school with him. So I got to reconnect with him. And we got each other's contact. And we'll see what happens with that relationship in the future. Also, we got to meet a bunch of other people and we got to market our band. So all of our business cards were gone after our set. So it just goes to show that even if you're not making any money right in that moment, you're still going to benefit long term. Uh, now, if, if you don't like the music and you don't like the people and you're not making any money, don't take the gig. But again, I really like the people. I really like the music we played. And at the end of the day, it was kind of like another rehearsal, uh, but in front of people and we got to market. So the band got better. We got to get our name out there and we had a fun night. So all that being said, remember to stay on the path. Get some. And I've been James Bush.